So that's where the generator used to live. Two generators, I should say. What's left of them. The carport which is still standing, which is where my motorbike was. That melted into a puddle. See part of my motorbike there, the muffler, the chain. That was a greenhouse. And behind it, my shed. As you can see, there's nothing left. Very little worth salvaging anyway. That was my beautiful tool rack that I'd built and finished building a day before the fire got us. And this is our grass tree which never had it been burnt ever. But um you know it's actually got signs of it life of life. It's starting to sprout. So it's a seed of hope. And at least we get to see what it looks like in its natural form now after being burnt. Yeah. This used to be another shed. This was the entrance. Definitely going to have to do a lot of cleaning of all this tin though. It's going to take a while. These gas bottles had bulged. Luckily they didn't explode. I think my, one of them might have near the house here because it looks a bit more messed up. These were my hop garden beds which were doing beautifully. They were already about three meters high and climbing. This would have all been under shade cloth in the swing, sit out here and relax. I just cleaned up all these garden beds here, made it look all nice. And this was the front door, as you can see all the glass. So I'd be standing in the kitchen right now, essentially. The fireplace. Yeah, unfortunately all the tins in the spot where all my sort of stuff was, my laptop and <clears throat> sort of workshop. Yeah, I wonder what I'll find under there. Very little, I imagine. Yeah, just doing a little tour. Video tour. This was the bathroom. 